Hey guys, welcome back to my studio. In today's video, I'm going to attempt to make soap with champagne for the very first time. And when it comes to using champagne and soap, not only is it a cool ingredient, but it actually adds a lot of lather and bubbles to the soap. Now, when you're working with any sort of alcohol in your soap, which is hugely popular, lots of soap makers love to do this. They use beer, wine. It's just a lot of fun to use alcohol, but you can't just start using alcohol in replacement of water for your soap. There's a few things you need to do first to make sure that your soap goes smoothly. The first thing you wanna do is decarbonate that alcohol. Now with champagne, it is very bubbly and very carbonated. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is to empty out all the champagne from its bottle into a saucepan and let it sit for at least 24 hours. All of that carbonation is going to release into the air and soon you'll have very flat champagne that's no longer good for drinking. The next thing you're going to want to do is to burn off all of that alcohol. And to do that, just put it on your stovetop and let it cook for at least 15 minutes. Because there's sugars in champagne, that can scorch when you put that into contact with lye. So try to work with very cold champagne, either chilled or frozen if you can. This is just really cold over here. And how I'm going to incorporate the champagne into my soap is by replacing half of my water amount with the champagne. And now we're going to add the lye to the water and champagne mixture. We're just slowly incorporating the lye. You don't wanna dump it all in. And now I'm gonna stir for about two minutes to make sure that the lye gets dissolved. So you can see it's this really intense orange color that is completely normal. I'm gonna set this aside to cool down somewhere where no one can get access to it. That lye water and champagne solution needs to cool down and it usually takes about an hour and a half to do that. So in that time that it's cooling down, I'm gonna prepare everything else. I need to measure out and melt my solid oils and butters and then I also have to measure out my liquid oils. So here's my lye water, and here are my oils and butters. Everything is cooled down to below 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is where I like to soap. And so now there's nothing left to do but to bring it all together. So let's go ahead and do that. Nervous, you guys, I don't know what's gonna happen. So here goes the lye water, lye champagne water. This is actually the first time I've ever soaped with alcohol an alcoholic beverage. And even though I cooked it and burned off that alcohol, I don't know if I burned off all of the alcohol. Now I'm just gonna stick blend this together until it's emulsified. And that should be emulsified right there. I'm gonna be using my Winston and Walter Tall and Skinny. So I didn't really introduce the soap that I'm pouring today, but this is actually my very first soap of the month soap. And I'm really excited about that. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. And that's why I'm really hoping that this soaps well and turns out. The soap of the month is something that I, I've seen other companies do, and I think it's such a great idea. And for this, I don't wanna sell out. So what I'm going to do is release a soap on the 15th of every month. And I'm going to leave that order open just to see how many orders that I get so that I can fulfill every single one of those orders. And we'll see how that model works. So here's the soap, I'm gonna do my first color. And as you guys know, this is a champagne soap, but the soap is actually inspired by Holly Golightly, Audrey Hepburn from Breakfast at Tiffany's. I love that movie and that character is so iconic. She is amazing. So the colors that I'm using are gonna be very Audrey Hepburn, Holly Go Lightly inspired. So the main body of the soap is going to be pink. And the scent of the soap is a blend of strawberries, guava, bergamot, sage. It's just a very sophisticated, delicate scent that I think is gonna work well 
with the colors of the soap and also really help embody the essence that is Audrey Hepburn. So here's the pink that I got and I'm using all my colorants. I will have them listed down below, but this is a pink from Fizz Fairy. And here is my fragrance oil. I'm gonna work really fast here because <laughs> I have no idea how these guys are going to react. I'm hoping for a smooth soaping experience, but you never know with new fragrance oils. There we go. I've hand mixed this in. We are good. I'm trying to stir so that you don't see any streaks left. Fully incorporate that fragrance oil. That is a gorgeous pink. So each soap of the month will have an inspiring story sent along with it and a little extra something, which I'll show you when the time comes to assemble these soap of the month bundles. And yes, you should be able to purchase this along with the rest of the items on my website. I'm still trying to figure out logistics, but I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be good. Looks like this fragrance oil blend is behaving really well. So I think I'm just gonna dump the rest of it into here. I'm sure I'm doing things so you can see it on camera. I'm working on that in 2024, <laughs> working on my cinematography. Oh, this smells really good. So for the scent blend, I blended Mont Rouge's Pink Guava and Bergamot and Sage, I believe, are the two fragrance oils. I'll have them linked down below. But the two of them together is Seeing a ricing that I was not expecting. That is interesting. Let's work with it. I've never experienced ricing before. But we are gonna go with the flow and fight through it. <laughs> it's getting thick. Really, really starting to rise up on me, guys. We'll get there together. Okay, let's start pouring before I won't be able to pour anymore. Nice, okay. There's that. Let's do the white. Yeah, do you see how chunky it's getting? It's like, Starting to get into mashed potatoes consistency. You can work with it though. Let's not give up. Not gonna give up on this. Even though the soap batter is kind of, <laughs> it's giving chunks, we are okay with that. Whoa. Let's change it over. And this can happen with soap where things are looking smooth and then it just suddenly throws you a surprise. This is looking very, <laughs> very scary, but I think it's gonna be fine. I think we're gonna be good. I wanna do a final little mini swirl. But now we're going to do my signature Waves, white soap on along the top to finish her off. So it'll be, like I was mentioning, a single soap with a, a theme of motivation because I've been finding that my inspirational Instagrams have been doing really well. They've been striking a chord with a lot of my fellow soap makers. So I really wanted the subscription box to be about that. I think you guys are gonna like it. And this first soap, <laughs> this Audrey Hepburn inspired soap, definitely riced and accelerated on me, but I'm still really liking how it's turning out so far. I have hope. Okay, so I'm just going to add my swirls. See, when a soap behaves like that, it's hard to 
say exactly what did it. I don't know if it's the champagne. I don't know if it was the fragrance oils because I've never soaked with those fragrance oils before. But even though it started to rice on me and get a little gritty and chunky, still worked out. So now that we have all the soap in the mold safely, I'm gonna finish off the tops. I've been loving, loving spraying the top of my soaps with mica. I think it gives it such a beautiful finish. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter I can't resist. I don't know why I'm always so drawn to peach nectar bio glitter. This is by Fizz Fairy and it is such a beautiful, I don't know if you can see it, but such a beautiful pink gold bio glitter. And just the littlest bit on top to finish it. And here is the finished poured soap. And I think it looks amazing. I love it. The swirls worked out really good. And you can see that little bit of black in there and the white and the pink. I tried to use colors, like I said, that one would associate with Audrey Hepburn. So pink for her femininity, the black for the little black dress and just hints of gold with, from her association with Tiffany's and champagne. I don't know, hopefully the color scheme looks good. It might look like a big mess when I cut into it tomorrow, but we'll see. But the thing is I managed to get the champagne soap in the mold and that is a huge accomplishment. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm really curious to see how it looks on the inside. Really, really curious. For now, I'm gonna clean up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, we are back and I have a special guest in the studio here with me. I'm here. So I decided to bring him down here to help me cut the soap today because you were curious about this, weren't you? About how, how yeah. it might look on the inside? Yeah, I had popped that bottle of champagne for you. And, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So he is our special guest today. And we're not working with a slab mold today because this is our specialty soap. I don't know how many are going to be sold. So I'm just gonna play it safe. And whoever wants these soap of the month soaps, they're gonna be able to get this specialty soap once a month, but this soap is also gonna to go to our golden bubble patrons. So we're just kind of feeling things out. We're testing it and we'll see how it plays out and see how many people sign up. Cool. Yep. And if the need arises, it's good that we have that slab mold, which my dear friend July has decided to name after me. It's called the Jerrica mold. <laughs> this is like... so exciting and such an honor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like... I know. I can't believe it. So if you want to check out that giant 24 pound slab mold, there's a link to that down below, as well as a link to this mold, which is a 20 inch long, tall and skinny mold. This mold is fantastic. If you want to make, more bars than 10 bars at a time. If you want to double that batch, but not have to go through the trouble of figuring out a whole slab mold, this mold is fantastic. And this is the mold that I would say really launched our business. Yeah, because I was using, yeah. yeah. Yep. So here- You had like four of these um, and you would sometimes make four at a time. Yes, yep. and that did help me out. However, when you're making four of these at a time, that's four of these silicone molds that you have to clean. There was always that, aspect of it that delayed my production process, whereas a slab mold was just one silicone mold and one wooden mold. So if you're not up to that level, these molds will do you really good for a long time. We just came back from seeing Kale's parents and we played a good game of cards and- Yeah, my did, dad won. Yeah, Kale's dad won. won the previous won. five games and then I won one last time. So oh I my gosh. The streak and now he's just started his streak back up again. Yeah. He is a master at Back Alley Bridge. That's the card game that we play all the time at Kale's parents' house. There we go. There we go. Ooh, nice and pink. Yes. I see. I wanted it to be a very feminine Audrey Hepburn inspired bar from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, okay, so it looks great. Ooh, that smells really nice. So if you guys remember this soap was ricing on me pretty bad. So we'll see how that affected the inside of it. Here is my loaf. I'm just gonna set it over here. See how different these two designs are? And did you get them from the same end of the soap? No, those were on two different ends. So this is the one that I said looked like a cinnamon roll. <laughs> and here is the one that looked completely different. Mm. 
Mm. Have you seen the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's, Kale? No. We gotta watch that one. I think okay. you would really like it. I like the ones that have a little bit more black in them. Yes. Yeah, the black really pops off the, um, the bright pink. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's a little bit of a bumpy texture to these. And that's definitely, I think, from the ricing that I was experiencing, which you don't know about. But when I was soaping, the batter felt really gritty, kind of like a mashed potatoes. It was ricing on me. Okay. And that didn't affect how the soap came together as a soap. Eventually it solidified just fine, but the texture did become the littlest bit bumpy. That and I probably had air holes in the soap, which I don't really care too, too much about. I've never created a soap with this combination of colors before, and I think it really works together. What do you think? Yeah. Pink, black, black gray, gray, white, there's gold. There's I love this soap. This is so pretty. Okay, here's the last chub. Oh, we got another we chunk. We got a last, last chunk. Another chunk to cut up. Yeah. London Bridge is falling, falling down, down, falling down, falling down. down. London Bridge is, <laughs> it fell. <laughs> I think that this one is like a bird's eye view of a badger. So we got the badger's head up here the snout, the body, and then the tail of the badger. Yeah, I can see that too. Badger again over here on the side. See, I don't see a badger. Let Whoa. us know in the comments if you see a badger. It's not mine, right? Yours, you see a badger? On mine. See, there's our badger again over on this side. Okay. This is a fatter badger. Look, and this, this is like the badger's, the head of a badger, zoomed in on the head of a badger. It's very champagne-y. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. I used pink guava from Mo Rouge Canada. And I think that has the champagne quality that, that we're looking for in the scent. So what do you think about these bars? Do you think they evoke the essence that is Audrey Hepburn, the femininity, the sophistication of who she is as a person? I think so. I think yeah. they're one of a kind. It's classy. You have pink with a grayish black pop coming out of it. It's Classic, unique. iconic. Class. Yeah, yeah I, I was actually curious about how the black would turn out because when I was soaping and the black was mostly concentrated at the top because everything was solidifying really fast, I was worried it was gonna be too dark, a little too gothic. But I think mixed with the gray, white, beige, and pink, it just makes it so pretty and so feminine. I love it, I love it. And what, what lady does not like a little touch of black? with what she's wearing. I know I love black. So I definitely think I hit the nail on the head when it comes to evoking the essence that is Audrey Hepburn. I really love this soap bar and I really think that you guys will love it too, which is why this bar will be available as of January 15th, which is a Monday, I believe. If not, there'll be a correction here, but January 15th, you'll be able to buy these soap bars and they'll be available for purchase for 10 days. As of January 25th, we will close orders. So that means you have that time window to place your order and I will make a bar for every order that comes in. So whoever wants it will hopefully get it in the time allotted. And we'll try to do this for 12 months of the year moving forward. So that's exciting. Yeah, yep. And if you are, we'll shoot for. yes. And if you are a golden bubble, don't worry, you are guaranteed a bar as well. And we will be adding more things to that package to make it worth your while. And I'm so excited to be launching this product. It's something that's been a long time coming and something that I think a lot of people have been asking for because I have been making these specialty bars for my golden bubbles and people have been asking me, where can I buy this? And I've just always, I've had to say, I'm sorry, this is just for my golden bubble. So this will be available to the public at large. The recipe for the soap with all of the steps and all of the components and all the ingredients that will be available on my Patreon, which is linked down below. And speaking of my patrons, thank you so much to you guys for supporting me on there on that platform. You guys mean so much to me, especially these guys, my bubble BFFs. I can't tell you how much your support means to both me and Kale, so thank you. Your generosity means the world to us. And thank you to those who watch us, who subscribe to us, and who comment down below and provide your feedback. Your feedback has been essential. And thank you to everyone who has commented on my big slab 
mold endeavor and have given me so much feedback and so many suggestions that I will definitely be applying the next time I'll be making soap in a slab mold, except for those who suggested certain equipment that I needed to get because that's still coming in the mail. I still actually have to order a few things, but for the most part, you guys had so much helpful tips that I will be implementing the next time you see me do that. Yeah. Yep. But um, until that video... I just want to say you did a great job with the slab <laughs> mold. You. you did a great job with these molds. Um, sorry. You did a great job with these soaps. And I'm just very impressed with everything that you do. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm did very job. proud of myself. Yes. And very excited for what 2024 has to come. And until the next video, keep smiling, keep being awesome. And we will see you in that next video. Bye, guys.